Alright everybody, welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. It's been about a week since I played this last, and boy did we have some crazy plot developments the last time we played. You know, being kidnapped and basically forced to be a slave on this island. You can only assume that today we're going to orchestrate some kind of a jailbreak, right? And this is one of the cool things I like about this game compared to Minecraft is the variety of gameplay and the fact there's a linear plot to follow is pretty neat. So let's continue on, let's see what happens here, I think we're waiting till evening. If we're done for the day, we might as well just kick back on this bench and wait for nightfall. Yes. What do you say? Should we wait here until the sun goes down? Yes. Huh. Let's put our hands together and think about our next move. <clears throat> That'll be enough for today. This time to return to your cells and collect your evening meal from the jailer on the way out. Be sure to rest well. Another day of rehabilitation awaits you tomorrow. Alrighty. Well, if it isn't the one and only number 5932, here's a veritable feast for you. Always nice for him to hand us a cabbage while swatting his sword. What the? Talk to him. 6207, here's your scrumptious supper. Where's he getting these cabbages from? He's pulling them out of his butt. And good evening, 6208. Enjoying your cabbage free diet. You won't be getting any today either. <clears throat> Will he ever get to eat? He's gonna starve. Alright, shout out to Vash7342, who did a 335-bit cheer. That's the biggest cheer of the day so far. And he says, play some Rayman 1 for the Rageathon, dude. Well, Rayman 1 was not even nominated for the Rageathon, so that's not going to happen. But I played Rayman 1 on the PC a long-ass time ago. That game is tough. It's a very challenging 2D platformer with a lot of annoying enemies and the like, too. Um, <clears throat> so maybe someday, but it's not going to be during the Rageathon. Um... But, let's get Vash up here on the leaderboard before we continue on with the game. I want to get him his credit here. That's a 7342. Thank you very much, Vash, for the top cheer of the day so far. Very nice. Okay, 99 Jailbirds, everyone back in your cells. The doors will be locked till morning, so don't bother trying anything. Hmm. Tonight's the night we set our plan underway. No idea how much of a help that slime will be, but I'm sure we'll get off this rock one way or another. After all, that pyramid of ours isn't going to build itself. You know Digby and Ordelia are going to be slacking off if I'm not there to crack the whip. 6208, is that your jawbone I see moving? Looks like this is a good night. Rest up. The rest is up to you. Find us a way off this idiotic island. That's enough chatting, boneheads. It's time for lights out. <laughs> the Rage of is on the forums, Freddy. It's at thekingofhate.com. Go to the forums in the general section. It's the top thread there, posted up sticky. <clears throat> Hello, Balarov. How's it going today? All right, with that, the jailer locks the SP and the other prisoners in their cells. Time for Betty Vise, you horrible lot. If I catch you yapping, I'll be off to the hole with you. <clears throat> 6207. Boy, 6207. The slime. The slime's going to help me figure out how to, to get out of jail, I guess. Eternal Napalm Cheers said, What games or developers have, have smart enemy AI that you're impressed with? Oh, man. I mean, that's a tough question. You have to realize, Eternal Napalm, I've played so many games over the years. I mean, how could I remember specifically what game had good AI? It, I think it's easier to remember the games that don't have good AI. Like, for example, typically fighting games, instead of having good AI, they'll just program in reactionary things like, oh, they did a certain, certain special move, so immediately do the move that beats it, which is cheap as hell, because a human can't do that. Um, I think it's actually tougher to say, gee, what games actually had the intelligent or good AI? I think in a lot of games, they purposely make the AI bad, so that you can beat it. You know what I mean? Like, if you were in a stealth game, and every guy saw you everywhere, it would be pretty annoying. Plus, the truth of the matter is, I don't really play games on higher difficulties, and typically, that's probably where the AI would be smarter anyway. So, I don't know if I can necessarily answer that question uh, very well. And I'm sorry that I can't. I don't know how. I don't have that knowledge in front of me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Alright, let's talk to this slime. You want to ooze cape from here, don't you? Then Betty Buys will have to wait. I happen to know that there's a super special secret hidden somewhere in your cell. Take a good look around and see if you can find it. There's a secret in the cell.
It's your slightly smelly toilet. Have a feel around inside? Sure. I plunge my hand into the pot and I have a good feel around. I don't feel anything of interest. Well, my hand's now covered in shit and piss and I got nothing for it. What a pain in the... Pain in the why is it? If there's a hole full of water, why are you pissing in the pot? <laughs> anyway, um, what an idiot. If it's a good place to start, using it like that won't work. Why don't you see if you can move? Can't move it. Move the bed? <laughs> Good work, and I'll take a closer look at the floor. Those blocks look a bit different than the others, don't they? Great, this is a hole I was hoping you'd find. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on down. What the hell? Who built a staircase? How is it down there? An old Goomin friend of mine dug this tunnel in the secret. Check that pot out over there for more useful information. <laughs> Judging by the terrible stench, the pot seems to have been used as a prisoner's toilet. Feel around anyway. There's nothing of interest. He did it again. He did it again. Well, look, I found a silly soiled piece of paper. Wow. What the hell's on it? You found something, have you? Try splattening it out and see this on that simple small table and see what it says. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Go on and take a closer look. What does it say? Alright, I am the escapologist extraordinaire. No prison, penitentiary, or pail of water can hold me. Tonight I shall attempt my most daring getaway yet. I shall escape from Skillcatraz. None other, none other has ever achieved this feat. It pains me to leave my slimy sidekick behind, but such is the lot of the professional powder taker. These feet were made for fleeing, and that's just what they'll do. I will succeed, of that there is no doubt. However, should by some fatal fortune my mission fail, I implore whoever finds this letter to do what I could not. Yours fleetingly, Gottfried Escapologist Extraordinaire. Godfrey got caught by the children of Harga Hargoon on purpose so that he could come to Skelkatraz, break out, and prove himself to be the best escape artist of all time. That guy's got some balls. But his plan failed. He disappeared, and nobody's ever seen him since. I always admired Godfrey. I've been waiting for someone to carry on his legacy ever since he vanished. Please, don't let my friend's dreams be squelched. Tell me you'll finish what Godfrey started and escape from Skelkatraz. You will, won't you? Yes. Great, let's get going then. Okay. So we're going to talk to him again. I'm in first person right now for some reason. That was weird. Uh, shout out to Sal Volcano, who took me $1.69 and said, What game has made you rage the most and why? Um, I don't necessarily, if I could say it's one game. Obviously, the, the any any From Software franchise, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, um, recently Sekiro, those always make me rage. Uh, Neo, to some extent, because it's a very similar franchise. Uh, going along that same vein, Lords of the Fallen made me rage for all the wrong reasons because the game was a buggy mess at launch and was such a broken piece of shit that I lost my shit playing it. Um, in particular, racing games tend to make me rage. I mean, just recently Crash Team Racing, but I can say like Need for Speed Rivals, was it? No, Need for Speed Payback? Whatever the last one was that I played, that game really made me fucking rage. Fighting games always make me rage, especially when I'm playing online. I feel that the online play is not up to snuff with how it should be. Uh, there's a lot of different games that made me rage. I guess those would be a few of them. But I don't necessarily... I could say, oh, this is the one that was the biggest, but that's at least a few, okay? I see many people in stream chat <clears throat> immediately jumping the gun. And here's what they're saying. Phil, take a look right, right above me up here, guys. You see how it says sub 610? So the reason it says that is because today we hit our subscriber goal for the month of August. And we're only halfway through August, which is great. It's always good to hit the subscriber goal when you're only halfway through a month. But now they want to know, will there be a tier 2 goal this month? Listen... I'm not going to play that game, and here's why. 
every time that I hint that there may be a tier 2 goal and then I don't do it, people freak out and say that I promised something that I didn't do. Perfect example, a couple weeks ago I did a fundraiser, and I said, you know, if we hit the goal, maybe we'll do a tier 2 goal where we'll implement something else. And I never concretely promised it, and I never actually laid it out how it would work. And then all of a sudden, oh, Phil promised the tier 2 goal, didn't come through with it. No, I didn't actually. You're just an idiot who's lying and trying to make me look bad. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to say, oh, tier 2 goal out of nowhere. If people have interesting ideas for a tier 2 goal, I would consider it. But I'm certainly not going to say, yes, we're doing a tier 2 goal, but I have absolutely no clue what it would be. I don't know how much time I'm going to have to implement anything. I'm not going there. I'm not going to let people spin it and try to make me look bad because that's what they're, they're trying to do. So I'm not doing it. I'm not playing that game. Okay. So, again, if you guys have ideas, feel free to suggest them. I'm way open to listening to what you guys have to suggest, but no promises, okay? Fair enough. All right. All right, here we go. I don't want to ruin the moment, but we're a bit, a bit of a sticky situation. Skelter Trash is surrounded by miles and miles of ocean. Even if we do manage to escape, we won't be going anywhere without a boat. What's that? The children of Hargon seized the boat that you were on when they caught you? That's super. If your ship's being held somewhere nearby, we can use it to make our getaway. Still, I'm surprised you were sailing the seas in the first place. The children don't allow the, you humans to, to use boats, you know. <clears throat> and by the way, I'm, I'm basically getting rid of all his puns that have to do with ooze because they sound really silly. It's worked out in favor of this slime. <clears throat> all we have to do now is find a way out of here and find your ship. <clears throat> Godfrey's tunnel oozed to be a lot longer than this. Maybe you could ooze your fist to break through the sand. Okay. Break through the sand. I should have to find more sand. I mean, I see sand here. Aha! You smashed that sand like it was nothing. I wish I had hands so that I could squish stuff like you humans. Looks like the tunnel keeps going. Let's check it out. What the hell? I don't want this. It's sand in my hand. I have the tiger! Well, he wasn't kidding. Looks like once I get a hammer, I'll be able to go these other ways where the dirt is. Magnus Flamebeard, what's going on, man? He just did 100 bit cheers. He says, have some bits. Loving your Super Mario 64 playthrough. Do you have a favorite seafood dish? Crawfish is the best. Uh, I like different kinds of seafood. First of all, shrimp, excellent. Crab, pretty good. Lobster, obviously super tasty, but crazy expensive. Can't have it, just like crab, can't have it all the time. Um, other fish, like I've had cod, I've had tilapia, I've had trout. Um, I like all those, but overall my favorite I've calamari by the way I've had as well Italian style calamari um, I've had sushi I mean like shrimp tempura um, I've had cooked eel in sushi um do I have an overall favorite seafood dish oh man I'd probably say shrimp shrimp in general just there's so many ways you can prepare shrimp and make sure of a delicious dish that would probably be the one that I would say oh that's that's my my personal favorite Ah, this is where the tunnel leads. Let's have a mosey around this building and see if we can find a way out. Oh, uh, the sign says this is the incinerator. No matter the manner of a prisoner's death, whether by old age or bad luck, the cleansing fire shall give them new life as willing warriors for the high priest Hargon. That sounds creepy. An incinerator. Just the thought of being thrown into that furnace if you turn to jelly. So that's how they get rid of bodies. That's fucked up. This is like a storage room. Aha. Woke somebody up. Oh, look who it is! Captain Brownbeard. Everything's so topsy turkey. I don't know. Whoa, where am I? He's risen from the dead, and he's talking to Goose. My visit, we first made DSP. Good to see you're alive and licking. He isn't a corpse. He was just asleep. The Scrooge, uh, the Screws must have thought he was dead and brought him down here. What's all this talk of corpses? We're just here anyhow. Where's my shit? 
I see. This gooman must be the captain of your ship. Follow us, captain. We're going to find a way out of here. Mm. He's showing another person. Are they outside? I think they might be outside. Can't go this way. He's showing them over here, but obviously like, it's not there. don't know how to get to that other icon. Can't crawl under? No. Can we just go out this way and see if we can find anything? It must be, yeah, it must be for, aha! It must be further this way. I knew it. It's locked. This door leads to the outside world. My news doesn't lie. If only we can unlock it, we might be able to escape. You didn't know that slimes had noses? Have you forgotten where we are right now? Make yourself useful instead of asking silly questions. <laughs> Someone's there. I can feel it in my bones. Uh-oh. It's one of the, the, the guards. Quick, hi. Come out, come out, wherever you are. It's a cat. Oh, just a kitty, eh? Go on, scram. Phew, I nearly slipped myself there. Why don't we call it a night for now? Don't forget you're a prisoner. If you're not back in your cell come morning, the screws will notice. We found that door. Let's go first. The first step, we need to think about how to get it open. Right now, we need to focus on getting back to your cell. Let's go. Ludwig World Order fan did a 210-bit cheer and said, Found you after watching detractor music videos, which are quite good, but I found out more in, I'm more of a fan than a tractor. Well, first of all, I don't call anyone tractors. That's something that they've termed. I think that's kind of stupid, but hey, whatever. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for being supportive, and I, I'm glad that you enjoy the streams. And give them a shot. I think, I think honestly, I don't care if people laugh at me. I just wish more people would give me a chance, because I think if they did, they'd find out that the streams are kind of fun and chill. Instead of just being all about the negativity and trying to basically cause drama and stuff. You know, I understand how that could be fun, but not when you make the entirety of who I am about that when it's not the case. You know what I mean? So thanks. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for being supportive. Good to see that you're enjoying the stream. I, I know you're waiting for this all week, so... Uh, this is a lot to take overboard. I never imagined I get locked up on Skillcatraz. In fact, I never even caught current of the place. <clears throat> Speaking of which, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Wasn't Hargon supposed to have been defeated by three scions of Erdrick? If so, how come his crew are still in charge of every island that we make starboard at? Seems like a few too many to just be stragglers. I thought you were your ship's captain, not a historian in hiding. Maybe you should stick to what you're used to. Wow. Huh. Played many Pac-Man games as Flamebeard. Um, I played all the classics, the original Miss Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man Junior. And then I remember there was like a, a Pac-Man Ultimate Remix version that came out on Xbox 360 at one point, and I played that one. I think it was like the Anniversary Edition or something. But I've never really played Pac-Man at length or anything. No. Speaking of the Angel, where is the eleven seas? In, where in the eleven seas is my beloved ship? Is that beautiful boat? Is my best friend, just like Malroth is to DSP. Keep the noise down, will ya? We're trying to escape here. Huh. Look, Captain, we're gonna find your ship sooner or later. It's the only way that we can sail away from this island, so stop arguing and do what I tell ya. This friend of yours is quite the bossy knickers, ain't he? Reminds me of a certain young lady. I can hear you, you know. Less talking, more walking. Yes, sir, Mr. Slime, sir. <clears throat> okay, me and the Captain will go on ahead, follow the route we used to get here, and we'll see you under your sail. All right. Amazing. <laughs> We're at 30% of escaping. Not bad for a night's work. Let's go over what we learned so far. Trying to open your cell door is too risky, but you can go through the tunnel to the crematorium, which has a door leading to the outside. So all we need to do is get that door open, right? Exactly. If we had a key, we'd be one step closer to glorious freedom. What do we do once we're out in the open? Hot leg it to my ship or keep our thumbs crossed we don't get caught? Hello, Akim Toto. How's it going? No, Captain, no. If we want to make it out of here like my good friend Gottfried, we'll need to dig our way to freedom. Opening the door is just the first step. The only way we're going to get get your boat is through the tunnels under DSP's cell, but we can't dig any further with just our bare hands. 
So we have to open that door, search for a way to open up the tunnels, and Bob's our auntie. <clears throat> Precisely. Nice to see you, you know how to listen after all, Captain. Uh, once we find the key for that door, everything will fall into place. Good luck finding it, 6207. Okay. I'll stay down here with Oozer and keep out of eyesight. Give Malroth my regards, won't you? When you get back to your cell, be sure to fill in the hole and cover it with your straw bedding. We don't want them, them to screws to catch wind of our plan. Okay. Great, it's the whole taken care of. You really are a builder, aren't you? If anyone's capable of realizing my good friend Godfrey's dream, it's you. I mean it. No DSP, let's escape from Skelkatraz and wave this island goodbye forever. Alright. Vash just here said I want Miss Pac-Man to step on me. Oh no. Oh no. And so DSP's fifth line on Skelkatraz draws to a close. <laughs> he dreams of burning bones, locked doors, and blocked tunnels. Everything that stands between him and freedom. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and he dreams of all his friends on the Isle of Awakening, anxiously waiting for him to come home. Hey, 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 hey. Out of bed, you bone idle brogers. It's time for morning roll call. Here we go again. I have no idea what you bone have been up to, but the warden is not best pleased. Something tells me you're going to find out why they call him the Priest of Pain today. Drag your lazy bones over to the yard and get ready for an earful. Oh boy. What's the earful for? What happened? Are we not burning enough cabbages? La, 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 la. Ugh. I actually got some sleep last night. Jasper didn't wake me up that too early. He woke me up at like 8.20 in the morning. Typically I try to sleep till like 8.45 or 9. He woke me up at like 8.20. So it wasn't that bad, but it's still a little jarring when a kitty is in your face in the morning. You're like... Oh, I'm so relaxed. I'm having such a good sleep. You open up your eyes and there's a cat right here. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> like, oh, oh. All right. Uh, you blundering boneheads have really done it now. <clears throat> we spent day after day bringing our backbones to rehabilitate you, and this is how you repay us? We'd be lucky if I ever forgive this treachery. <clears throat> Get yourself to the field. The warden wants to speak with you. How many hours of sleep did I get? I fell asleep between 2 and 3 a.m. I have no idea when. Um, and I slept through till 8.20. And then I tried to go back to sleep for like another half hour, but I didn't necessarily get a good half hour of sleep. So I guess like six, six and a half hours of sleep. All right. Off to the fields. <clears throat> what is the best way to contact me for a sub-goal suggestion? You could try stream chat or you could email me. Darksidefillahotmail.com You're late. Everyone gather before me at once. Okay. Good. It is with great disappointment that I must reveal that one of you was up to something most sinful last night. Mm -hmm. A certain periodical was found in Block 3, the kind that might even lead the most innocent disciple into temptation. If any of you knows where the book belongs to, now's the time to come clean. Conversely, should no one own up to it, you shall all be thrown in the hole. <coughs> Who's the owner of the Book of Blueprints? Confess, it wasn't us. Nobody, I suppose it must have appeared out of thin air then? Seems you're over course of time to think. Very well, today's labors are cancelled. The guilty party should reflect on their actions and consider if they will beg for forgiveness and take their secret to the grave. Uh. Seems like the warden has no idea what you got up to last night. For a second there, I thought the game was up. 
Why are these guys getting all high and bothered over a book of blueprints anyway? It's not like we could make anything big without them noticing. Whatever, more importantly, what happened last night? Did that gross little goo, goo ball spill the beans? Hello, Kate. Happy Taco Friday to you as well. As if you've got a point, this probably isn't the best place to talk. Yeah, right in front of the leader is probably not the best place to talk, especially when he's fucking staring right at you. Let's head somewhere a little more private. <laughs> he's looking right at us. All right. Uh, Agam Toto, I believe I did get your email, but I don't know what on earth I could do about that. I talked about it on pre-stream as well. I don't think there's anything I can do to fix it. I don't know what caused it, so. Huh. Alright, we should be safe to talk here. <clears throat> Would you mind explaining why you think it's okay to engage in idle chit-chat in front of my storehouse? Come out with it. What did you get up to last night? No kidding? Brownbeard's alive? The old guy's tougher than he looks. Huh. <laughs> Hello, Clack. Thank you, Daki Smurf. Okay. No kidding, Brown. Oh, I already read this. You found a letter from an escapologist extraordinaire and a tunnel to the crematorium, eh? Man, you always have to get have all the fun. I want to explore those dank, dark tunnels too. No, anything but that. It's dark and dangerous and full of dead bodies. I shall surely die from fright. Mm -hmm. What's going on over there? Listen, you. The warden's picked you out of the crematorium cleaning duty. No getting out of it. Don't stop scrubbing till you're nothing but skin and bones. The crematorium? That's where you went yesterday, right? Let's see if we can't do our lily livered friend here a favor. I'm sorry, did I hear you correctly? You two are interested in visiting the crematorium? Why on earth would... I mean, of course you are. It's a wonderful place. Here, I have an idea. Why don't you go in my place? Thank you so much. You don't know what that means to me. If it isn't 6207 and 08, fancy yourselves bony, fighty crematorium cleaners? Of course. The door on the crematorium is locked. We can't have any old bonehead going in there. Don't you think you get out of your job that easily? Ask the jailer near the entrance for the key. He loves nothing more than letting prisoners enjoy a spot of bone breaking. Get out of this gate and keep going straight on. You'll reach the crematorium in no time. Now get going. Okay. This is how we're going to get the key. Haha, uh -huh. it's pretty complex. La 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 la. Uh, wow. Excuse me, I'm sorry guys. That was absolutely revolting and disgusting. I'm sorry. Vile. What are you two doing wandering around willy-nilly? Get back to the fields or I'll have your heads. Are you pulling my leg bone? You volunteered to clean the crematorium. I'm impressed. Most humans hate touching dead bodies. The numbskulls kick up a right fuss when it's their turn for cleaning duty, but you two have got some real backbone. You can open up the door with this key, get down there and pick up all the piles of bones in the incinerator. Don't try anything funny. I got my eye sockets on you. Be sure to come back and report to me when you're done. Right, that's the locked door taken care of. See what you can achieve when you got me with you. Let's just conveniently forget to lock the door on the way out. That way you gotta root straight to your cell, from your cell to the yard. What are you two boneheads doing over there? Hurry up and start cleaning. Looks like we actually have to go down and clean the place up. Let's get this over with. Busy work. <laughs> Guess what it is? This stream is so brutally chill that I can just let loose all my bodily functions. I've already soiled myself at least three times here on the love seat. It's pretty disgusting, but hey, when you're relaxed, you're relaxed. So this is the crematorium. I like what they've done with the place. <laughs> the jailer wanted us to smash all the bones inside the incinerator, right? Let's jump in and get the job done and get the heck out of here. Okay. Destroy the human bow! Oh! What the fuck? Ah! We gotta hurry the fuck up. Medicinal herbs. Why were they doing inside the incinerator? It's like I always say, ashes to ashes, bones to dust. Let's go until Scovey's upstairs were done. Ah! 
Ate all the cabbage. Shit. I think I get it now. They're going to use these bones to add to their own numbers, aren't they? The whole thing freaks me out. Does Hargon really get his kicks from turning humans into monsters? Oh, Democrat here. said, can you point the camera at the love seat so we can see how sunk in it is? No, you, dude, you don't want to... Dude, I just told you. I just soiled myself. This whole thing is soaked in, in you know, feces. You don't want to see that on camera. You know how disgusting that would be? If you saw the disgusting wet stains, you can't do that. Come on. All right. Let's leave them down here. If they want them so much, they can come in and get them themselves. Nicely done. All right, let's head up and tell the guard the good news. <clears throat> MPB, Beast, MPB Smith says, I am eating. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you get the door open, that means you can get out into the yard from your cell. But that won't get us off the island. Any idea what to do next? You're going to look a way to open up the underground tunnels. That'd be a piece of cake if you still had your hammer. What are you two up to down there? Let's just chatting and more bone smashing. If you're done already, drag your bony backsides back up here. Don't think I won't send you to the hole if you keep slacking off. Okay. Alright. Took you long enough. You better have taken care of all the bones down there. There's something fishy about you two. You're altogether too eager. President of Skeletal shouldn't be so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. You need to let your inner skeleton come out. But don't worry, I'll find a reason to throw you both in the hole someday. Once you come face to face with that mad, bad, bone-crushing hammer hood, it'll wipe those smirks off your faces. Okay then. The hammer hood it was in charge, right? Ah. There's a hammer hood in the hole, huh? A hammer hood? Hmm. Boy, you two, less bludgery, more drudgery. Get your bone idle backsides back to the farm. All right. For now, we have to do what he says. Yes, that stash, though. Thank you for the congrats on hitting 610 subs. Very nice. We get the sub goal for the month. That means the retrospective event will take place sometime in September. September. September to dismember. What's going on? Is it nap time or something? Uh. Huh? Sleepyheads, mind explaining why you're all slacking off while we're bringing our back smashing up bones? The explanation is simple. These ungrateful wretches took my generosity for granted. All they had to do was admit who the book belonged to. Alas, they spurned the opportunity and now they should all be thrown in the hole. How about that? What would you say if you found out that book was mine at DSPs? Uh -huh. What? Is that so? The book of blueprints belongs to you? 6208, is this the truth or would you like me to protect your fellow inmates? Whether your crime is debauchery or dishonesty, it matters or not. Enjoy your maiden voyage to the hole! Oh boy. We're gonna see what the hole's like, I guess. Shout out to NME Warlock, who just did an 800 bit cheer and said, Thanks for the RE playthrough. Still watching RE2 Remake. So he likes my Resident Evil playthroughs. I enjoy the Resident Evil games very much. Dude, the remake was so hard to play because I played it on hardcore difficulty. I never played a, a game on a difficulty that hard before. <clears throat> it was definitely gripplingly hard and ra cripplingly hard and rage-inducing, but I got it done. So good stuff, and I hope you enjoyed that playthrough. Both runs, because I did both sides of the plot. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Virtuous deeds shall not go unpunished here. You would do well to remember as much. I have taken the liberty of confiscating all of your belongings. We wouldn't want anything to get in the way of a caretaker's special lesson. Throw them in. Not exactly the softest of landings. You all right, DSP? This is the legendary hull, huh? It's an ogre. <laughs> Get ready for bashy bashing. What the? Is this the caretaker? Do not dawdle, my lambs. Find yourselves an empty cell before our friendly caretaker takes care of you. <laughs> Look. 
Look at you, that's one of the best sweets this hole has to offer. Enjoy your time down here. It should help you realize just how nice your old cell was. I'm fed up to hear with them messing us around. You don't understand why I said the book was ours? Hmm. They'll see soon enough. We just need to wait for them to let us out of here. It's dark, damp, and dingy. I love it. The kind of place to give you nightmares. Wow. Well, I don't see anything we can break, right? Uh, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Bash, bash, bash! What the heck was that? Why, is it your new best friend? You're not alone in the hole. You are accompanied by none other than the most vicious of violent hammer hoods. Use this time to reflect on your wrongdoings while you spend the days cowering in fear of your nefarious neighbor. <sighs> Let's get some shut eye. It's not like we're going to get anything better to do. We can sleep while we are worries and be ready to think of an amazing escape plan in the morning. For some reason, I feel really at home here. Maybe I'm actually able to spend a decent night's sleep for once. To All right, they lay in the dark for what seems like an eternity and able to see even their own hands. Eventually, they both fall asleep, and it, they both, both fall into a deep sleep. High Priest Hargon. A faint voice calls out in the darkness, a voice from inside a dream. Oh, High Priest Hargon. Our one true ruler. The Blasted Builder taints your realm with his creations. And yet, in other places, the islands of the world begin to flicker and fade. Does our time run short? Tell us, O hellish father, when will the master of destruction reawaken? When will we be saved? Please, High Priest Hargon, if our prayers reach you, give us a sign. We shall continue to await yours and the master of destruction's return to the promised land. High Priest Hargon, we pray that you grace us with your presence soon. <laughs> they worship an empty chair. Before Doomsday is upon us, and this illusion ends. Bottle Crunch! Okay. All right. DJ Runo just cheered. He said, Bruh, ain't you playing the new free mega update of No Man's Sky with the super cool and super fresh and super content, super duper stuff? I can't believe it. No, because I did that last year when they promised exactly the same thing and it was the same fucking broken piece of shit, boring ass garbage game that wasn't worth a dollar to play and it fucking ripped me off two years ago. I don't want to play that piece of shit anymore. I'm not going to anymore. Okay. <clears throat> what's Doomsday? And what's the illusion? And more importantly, why am I dreaming about any of this? That's if it even was a dream. GSP, the guard's calling for us. Get up. He's dead. <sighs> are you alright? Just how long have we been in here anyway? That should be more than enough for your first visit. You can leave your cell now, boneheads. I trust you had a fun time in the hole. It was dark, dank, and disgusting. I loved it. Wouldn't mind another night down here. You can pretend all you want. I didn't need ears to hear your screaming during the night terrors. If you say so, where's that hammer hood? <clears throat> right over there. Feel free to say hello if you want. It's not much of a talker, though. More of a biter. Huh. <laughs> Hello there, little fella. Heard you're quite the troublemaker. Smash, smash, bash. <clears throat> no. Damn. 
Smash, bash, bash, bash. <laughs> <laughs> Just as aggressive as they say, and it looks like he doesn't understand a word I'm saying either. Careful, you two get too close, you might break a bone or two. When that hammerwood gets mad, it tends to, well, destroy everything in sight. Honestly, we could really use a monster like that in our army if we could get the ability to follow orders into its stick skull. That's it, the hammer. The one the hammerhood's got. Huh. If we could somehow steal that giant mallet, we could use it to smash our way off the island. Huh? huh? Stealing isn't nice, so you'd much rather make friends with it instead. I knew you'd say something like that. We might be able to get it in, uh, on side if we use some of our monster munchies old Ma Molly gave us. Uh -huh. Though we still need to unlock its cell door somehow. What are you two playing at? You best get a move on unless you want to spend another week down here. Guess we better do as the skeleton says. At least we know where to get a mallet from now. We can hammer out the kinks of the plan once we're back up top. Okay. So it seems to me what we're going to do is we're going to break out via... Our cell, we're gonna go to the crematorium, come back here once we find the key, free him, and then have him dig our way off the island. No, don't go that way. This way. Something up with those leg bones of yours, or was it conversation with the hammerhood really that fascinating? Anyway, here's your stuff. You'll need something to wear during your rehabilitation after all. Make your way back to the field as soon as you sorted yourself out. So, my stuff, just the same stuff. Is it all my belongings? No, they just give me this back. Yeah. My ragged rags. There we go, now the door opens, got it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Would you look at that? Hmm. Let's go check out that treasure chest. What the hell's in it? 6207, are you trying to tickle my funny bone? Get away from that chest right now. I heard stories about your kind. You go into strangers' houses, helping yourselves to the contents of their drawers and smashing all their pots. And people think the skeletons are scary. That's got the key to the cells and the hole in it. Don't even think about stealing it or we'll lock you up down there and throw it away. Well, now we know where to get the key to the cells to let out the hammerhood. Now hurry up and make your way to the field, you numbskulls. All right. The key to the cells in the hole, that's very interesting information. Come on, DSP. Team meeting. <laughs> Look where we are. The hole was right next to the yard this whole time. If we can get our mitts on that key, then we can free the Hammerhood and have it smash our path to freedom. I like the writing of this game too, Gremlin92. I think sometimes they're a little bit wordy, but outside of that, I think the plot's pretty good and the writing's pretty good. Feels like all the pieces are starting to fall into place. Oh, you two. Huh, guess we better get going. Wonder how everyone else has been getting on since we've been away. Okay. Doodly doodly doo. Woohoo! What, what, what? 6207 and 6208, aren't you a cipher to our eyes? We owe you our thanks. You saved every one of us from a torrid trip to the hole. Just thinking of you both suffering down there to fill me with so much guilt. Don't get the wrong idea, I didn't do it for you. Oh. Handsome and humble, you're a good lad. We're all very grateful for the sacrifice that you both made. <clears throat> Speaking of which, here's a token of our thanks. A bunch of cabbages. Ugh. Anyway, the warden's waiting for you by the field. You best not keep him waiting much longer. Come speak to me again when you get a moment. It'd be nice to catch up. Okay. <laughs> With your time in the whole fruitful, did the darkness seep into every core of your being? You must be exhausted after all that self-reflection. Your rehabilitation for today will be none too taxing. We have noticed that we have a wicked weed problem of late. 
It shall be your duty to rid us of the inner uh, of the greenery that blights the land. Channel your inner rage into your fists and tear the weeds to pieces. Do not stop until the sun is set. There's no need to report to me. When you are done, your work should speak for itself. Okay. I'm gonna punch him. I wonder if you actually get anything for actually doing the weeding. Because there's no objective to do it, but I wonder if you do it if you actually get something for it. all the weeds, so I'm thinking that'll be fine. There's gonna be another one over here. Alright, that's enough. Let's head back over here. <laughs> I'm playing this on the PS4. PS4. I was gonna get it on the Switch, then someone told me it runs like crap on the Switch, which is hilarious because the game is not graphically challenging at all. I mean, I don't know. can't imagine why it runs bad on the Switch, but I heard it does. <clears throat> Lovely to see you both again. Don't worry about whatever silly task the warden gave you. He won't check to see if you're working. He just likes bossing people around. Thank you once again for saving everyone from being thrown in the hole. It's funny, the more time I spend observing you, the more I start to think getting off skeleton traps might not be as impossible as I once thought. Huh? You got a plan to befriend a hammerhead, a hammer hood in the hole, and have it open up the underground tunnels? So you finally met that little rascal, eh? You used to be rather fond of building, which, like yourself, up until the children broke its spirit with their relentless rehabilitation, even more reason to set it free and get it the heck out of here. Huh. Speaking of which, give us some more of your monster munchies. Mm -hmm. What? 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 Oh dear, my supplies run dry, I'm sorry to say. I give you my last batch. You gotta be kidding. Well, if you can't give us any, tell us how to make them. DSP will, will do the rest. Of course, how could I forget? Uh, you can make anything with the right materials. Pop dry grass and frog stools in a frying pan and fry them until they start spitting. You have yourself some tasty treats. <clears throat> and collect the ingredients you need while pretending to do whatever odd job the warden's asked of you. Yeah, says, why do people hate on the Switch? I'm not hating on the Switch. I'm just saying, every time there seems to be an opportunity for a cross-platform game, I get told don't get it on the Switch because it runs poorly. And if anything, we all know the Switch is an underpowered console yet again. This is only the third straight one Nintendo made purposely underpowered with a gimmick, right? Um, the first party games on the Switch are great. They're outstanding. But the third party games, not so much. So I'm not trying to hate on it or anything. I'm just being honest, okay? All right, why don't you be some monster munchies come and show them to me? I need to find a frying pan, right? I don't know where to get a frying pan from. Did I just get a shield? I did. I found a shield randomly in the box. Huh. I don't know where to get the frying pan. Um, the mushrooms are in the cave, I know. Uh, where the hell can I get a frying pan from? I don't have a clue. If you still got that book somewhere, could I borrow it for a bit? <laughs> I don't have the book. <sighs> that book was actually yours. Honestly, I have no idea why you'd stick your neck out for someone like that. Jula, about that book. I ain't trying to say nothing. Thanks for taking the rap for the rotter who was too chicken to own up your proper diamond geezers. It probably was him then. Believe me when I say that book of blueprints wasn't mine. Even so, I'm still grateful for what you did. So I'll repay the favor someday. MPP Smith, what you're saying is completely nonsensical and is not anything factual at all. I think you've been listening to the wrong people. 
Because that's not anything that I've ever said on a stream ever. I think that, uh... You should stop listening to those kind of people who don't know what the hell they're talking about. Because all you're doing is you're propagating drama, essentially. That's not true, so... Oh shit, what's that? What is this? Build? I can make a leather sack, apparently. So this is a building, uh, table. Interesting. Uh, I see a bunch of tools on the wall. Oh. There's the frying pan, but I need to get a mushroom. Where can I get a mushroom from? Yeah, they're not gonna let us go there. I know the mushroom's in the cave, but we can't go in the cave right now. I didn't know that we needed a mushroom for this part of the game. Yeah, MPB Smith, you're listening to the wrong people. I'm telling you right now. You're just, that's not the truth at all, what you're saying. It's so ridiculous. I, I don't really want to talk about it at length because it's gonna just derail the stream. It has nothing to do with the stream. But it's not the case whatsoever, at all. So you should stop listening to people who are basically trying to talk shit and start something, okay? <laughs> There's gotta be a mushroom somewhere. But the question is where? It's not in this room. They only allow me to go over here. Is there a cave over here? Oh, here it is! They're outdoors. I guess I'll grab a few of them. <clears throat> now it makes sense that he wanted me to cut the weeds, get it? Because I was going to need the weeds to make the monster munchie. Haha. Why is the chat always heavily modded? First of all, it's not our fate. You may be surprised. Sometimes there's no mods at all, besides me paying attention. And. The reason that it needs to be modded at all is because we got trolls who come in and try to ruin stuff for people and are just dickheads. They just want to be, be jerks and spam the chat saying insulting things about myself and my family. It's messed up. That's why we need it. But it's not heavily modded. You're mistaken. <clears throat> Hello, Numaku. I am good. Thank you for asking. Alright. Oh. Nicely done. Those monster witches look so tasty. Even I wouldn't mind a bite. Won't happen every time, but some monsters will get back up after you've beaten them. That's a sign that they want to be friends. But don't think that they'll wait forever. You need to quickly give them monster munchies or they'll run away. Right, we should be able to get that hammer hood on side now. Only problem is, how do we get it to dig the tunnels if it doesn't understand a word that we say? Duh. Hello, Stray Cat Show Me. How's it going, man? Thank you, Jackie Swerve, for the sub-suggestion email. I'll read that later. Okay. There's also the little problem of what to do about the hammerhood cell. The jailers are bound to notice it's gone missing the next morning, so you'll need to come up with a way of deceiving the guards. Uh, hmm? <laughs> Don't tell me you're working on an idea already. Let's hear it then. I learned a new recipe. Yeah, Yes, good afternoon, Straight Cash Homie. How's it going, League Rancher? Good to see ya. All right, a stuffed hammer hood. What, what, what? You're gonna swap out the real hammer hood for a doll? Of course, if the jailers think the hammer hood is still in its cell, you can dig for as long as you like right under their noses. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and make the stuffed hammer hood. The sewing station is in the back. Okay, we just found it. <clears throat> so it needs a cord, which means I need to go punch some vines. <laughs> Flying punch to some vines over here. Oh, oh, I grabbed it by accident. I grabbed it instead of punching it. I should have enough. No, I think it said I needed 10. Excuse me. I need 20. 
I should have actually paid attention. Oh well, no big deal. That's right, this game, the art style, all Dragon Quest games, the art style is from Akira Toriyama, the maker of Dragon Ball, which is why the main character looks like he has Goku hair. Stop that. Now I am. Okay. Yes, Dolan Dark, people do like the retrospective streams because. Number one, every single time I've done a goal for it, we hit it. And number two, they always get good attendance. So, people like them. Alright, now we can make it. Nicely done. Hello, Gremlin. Is there games you like to play in your free time but don't get the chance because of your schedule? Uh, recently I've actually got to play a lot of games that I've always wanted to play, like Final Fantasy IX I got to play, which is really nice. Right now I'm free playing GTA 4, which is really nice. I would say, uh, uh, oh man, I could stretch. I would say, pretty much the only games that I haven't gotten around to so far that I really would like to play is like Lost Odyssey. I feel is a very long and drawn out RPG, but it's a very good one with a great plot and great gameplay and a very awesome chill stream. The game is super fucking long. Um, probably that would be like one of the games that I've always talked about. I'd love to replay Final Fantasy VI. I only played it once ever a long ass time ago and recently I've been craving playing classic Final Fantasy again because I started listening to the music on uh, Spotify. So that's definitely one I'd like to go back and play again too. Um, those would probably be the two. At least Shadow Ninja says, when I played the Lost Odyssey DLC, if I played the Lost Odyssey, I didn't even know there was a DLC. I never played it back in the day, so I don't know. Have I ever thought about playing Counter-Strike Go? I did when it first came out. I played it, and I didn't really like it. I like classic Counter-Strike. So, Oh, uh, that's a fun-looking doll you got there. Would you mind if we gave it a little cuddle? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, lady, this thing's purely for business. We're going to switch this doll off with the hammer hood, right? That's correct, and you can take the real Hammerhood back to your tunnel to dig your way to freedom. In that case, the only thing we need to worry about is getting from the crematorium to the hole and back. Looks like you're up to no good. Get your bony butt over here. Uh. Something wrong with your joints? Inmates should run at backbone breaking speed when a jiller calls for them. But enough of that, I got a job for you, some bony fighty building work. The watch tower over there has seen better days. The platform at the top has some great big holes in it, which makes keeping an eye socket on all of you a bit risky. Which is why you have to fix it for us. What are you talking about? Of course children of Hargon jailers are allowed to ask their builder prisoners to build things. Anyway, you know the rule, no talking back unless you're praying for forgiveness or begging for mercy. Go on, climb the ladder, and fill the holes with sand or whatever you can find around here. I see this shit to scope out the roots of the hole and back. The watchtower fixed. Rubs you the wrong way how happy they are to let you build when it suits them. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty they're pretty hypocritical. To add insult to injury, we can barely see the hole from this tower. It's been a huge waste of time. Hang on, looks like there's another watchtower over there. That one might give us the view to the hole that we need. Huh. Let's tell the jailer we're done with this one and head over to that other one. Oh, let's see here. Flower Fox says, I'm new here. Why shouldn't I listen to the detractors and the ways you deal and also the ways you deal with them? Sorry, I'm not trying to derail the stream. Well, first of all, if, you're, if you want to listen to the detractors, I can't help if you do. But I think that you'd actually have more fun just relaxing and enjoying the stream at face value than listening to a bunch of drama and nonsense. You know what I mean? Like, that, I can't, I, there's literally nothing I can do to stop you. If you really want to do that, go ahead, you know? Um,. There's so much slander and defamation about me on the internet. I, there's no way I could ever counter all of it. I have no time to make new streams. You know what I mean? But 
<clears throat> I think if you just watch the stream at face value, you'll, you'll enjoy it. I mean, a lot of people have told me that just this morning. Ludwig World Order fan said, I used to just watch the negative stuff about you, but now I come to your streams and I like them. I'm just saying. Um, as for how to deal with it, the only thing I can say is, I've said, this, I've said this many times on Twitch. I don't really think there's a need for a random person to ever send you a direct message ever on Twitch. In fact, you're going to get a lot of spam, phishing schemes, advertisements, and harassment. So my recommendation to you is if you're going to use Twitch regularly, there's a setting that you can make it only people on your, uh, set as your friends or your friends list can send you direct messages. You want to turn that on. That way it avoids people completely spamming the crap out of you constantly. Um, and then just enjoy the streams. That's my recommendation, okay? MPB Smith to me $11.11. He says, have you played Final Fantasy VII on your channel or in general? Yeah, I could definitely help you 100% that game. For my channel or streaming? No, never. Have I ever played it before? Yes, I played it twice. I played it in the 90s when it was a new release in 1997. Then I played it again in the 2000s when it had a PC release. <clears throat> in particular... I love the gameplay. I actually think it has some of the best turn-based gameplay of all the Final Fantasy games. I don't like the plot. I think the plot is very bad. I think it's convoluted, confusing. Some of the characters are incredibly dry and underdeveloped, and I don't really like the plot of the game, which is hilarious because some people say, oh, it's the best Final Fantasy ever. I personally feel the reason people feel that is because it was the first 3D Final Fantasy. It was the first one on the PlayStation. It had left the Nintendo console exclusivity for the first time. And because of that, it got a lot of hype. And promotion at the time and I think a lot of people sadly overhype it to the point where they love this game so much that they act like it's the best one ever in my opinion it's not um I always looked at Final Fantasy not only for good gameplay but for an amazingly good plot and I don't think the plot of 7 is very good but that's my opinion I've actually said I would like to replay 7 before the 7 remake comes out next year but people voted for me to play Final Fantasy 9 instead so I played Final Fantasy IX this summer, and now I don't know if I'll have a chance to play Seven before the remake comes out in March, so... <clears throat> I don't know. So thank you, MPB Smith. You're the top tipper of the day. Let's get you up on the leaderboard here. That gets up to $27 in tips so far. Thank you, everyone, for your support today. Very nice. I appreciate that. All righty. 